Hellyan's latest 00 RTR project, the singular LNER Bayer Garrett U1. This was the largest, most powerful and heaviest steam locomotive ever built for a British railway. It was built in 1925 by Bayers at Gorton and lasted for 30 years. It was built to bank trains up the Wurzborough Incline in South Yorkshire and it did it with exceptional ease, taking the place of two 04280s. Originally it was coal-fired. Now this manifestation is the loco in the condition it became just prior to withdrawal when it worked on the Licky Incline. And it was oil fired. And it was fitted with a high intensity headlight to allow the crews to buffer up to trains they were banking. For most of its life, as coal fired, it worked on the Wurzborough Incline. But when that line was electrified in the early 50s, it was transferred to the Licky Incline just north of Bromsgrove. But it was not liked. The Licky was XLMS, and this was XLNER, and partisanship ensured that the loco was not accepted. The men much preferred their original banker. Big Bertha. In an effort to improve perhaps the relations, it was converted to oil firing. And this, as I say, is the manifestation that Hellion has produced. I think they're going to produce at least six different manifestations throughout the Loco's life, from when it was built in 1925 and exhibited at the centenary of the Stockton and Darlington Railway. And Hellyan's plan is to have this model ready in 2025, celebrating the loco centenary. Even oil fired, it wasn't successful on the Licky and it was broken up at Doncaster in 1955 and 1956. And you can see it here running on 73 wagons. At this point I ran out of coal wagons. It could take twice as much. Now it's a privilege for BRM to see this pre-production model and it is exceptional. Thanks very much to Ben Jones of Hellyan for letting me see this, photograph it, write a brief report which is in BRM and shoot this short video. I look forward to seeing the production model.